Hey, Liz here with another craft. And um, if you like this video, please feel free to do this. And in the craft world, that's called sprinkling the love. And that's how we get our videos out there is if you sprinkle the love. So today we're going to make a three a tear tray. So I have um, <clears throat> this nice two-tone blue um, bowl that's tannish inside and it has brown on the edges here. I got these at Dollar Tree. I have the little sauce, saucer and then the plate. I also have um, these, I think they're like cupcake stands and all of this is ceramic. So I got these two. They were a dollar at Target. So we're going to use these to do our stand. But the first thing we need to do is um, go ahead and put our stenciling on the bowl. So we have this home stencil from Magnolia and I put the link in the description. It's in the 12 by 18 section of the stencils. And uh, we've used the home before, and I'll use it again on other projects, but it had this shell, this starfish, and this bird on it. And we've used the shell and the starfish before, but I haven't used the bird yet. So I thought for just a little change of pace, um, you know, get away from the fall stuff. I mean, it's still really hot outside, so we'll do a little, little summer fun tear tray. So we're going to be using uh, a brown art gel art ink and this is from another company. Uh, I don't have any brown in the magnolia. I only have two colors and it's uh, white and the gold but I wanted to use brown because I have this right here. Now uh, there is gel ink in the magnolia and if you use my link um, you can see the different gel art inks. So, uh, and I would appreciate it if you do order, if you use my link, so I do get a little percentage. So we're gonna start out fuzzing our stencils because these are sticky and we're putting it on ceramic. So they will stick pretty good to that, so you want to fuzz it. You see how it's sticking to the, the um, pad there? Okay, so we're going to start out with our shell. And I'm just going to take it to the very top, and then I'm going to smooth it down. Now, because the bowl is rounded, you need to see about getting the, um, the wrinkles out. And if you have a wrinkle, make sure it's on the green part of the stencil and not, not in the, the screen part where you're actually stenciling. I think this is pretty good. We might have a little um, maybe bleeding or something going on, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm using the squeegee. It's a cut apart squeegee. The, the whole one looks like this. And I just cut it apart for different stencils. Uh, the bigger stencils, I use the bigger one smaller stencils I use the smaller ones and then as soon as you uh, do your stenciling and you're finished you want to uh, clean your stencils now I'm not going to be able to clean mine here but I do have some water and it is a little bit harder to get the inks off than it is the chalk paste and then when you clean them off and get them all clean you want to um, dry them face up, sticky side up, I'm sorry, sticky side up, and then when they're dry, you put them back on the backing sheet. 
and then you store them away. Uh, these are reusable and uh, they will last you a good long time. You can get several uses out of them. Okay, I think this is pretty good. So we'll take this off and see, see how it goes. Okay, so we do have a little bit of smearing, but it's not bad. Now I'm putting my stencil in the water face down. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this with a heat gun because I don't want to mess it up when I go to do the other side. Now if you were going to use this bowl and you were going to wash it or whatever, you could put this in your oven and you could heat set it. And that way then you can wash it and use it like any other dish. So I think what you do is you put it on 325 for 30 minutes. So you put your bowl in the oven on a cookie sheet while the oven is cold. Set it to 325 and leave it in there for 30 minutes. And then let your oven cool down and then take it out of the oven. Okay, so I'm just going to check this. Okay, Didn't, nothing came off, so then I'm going to go to my next stencil. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to put the bird on this side, like flying up in the air. Put my starfish on the other side. And again, I'm just going to um, fuzz it. If you don't, it gets a little hard to pull it off of your... Um, your bowl. And uh, there is a, um, a mat in Magnolia that you can purchase. I did go ahead and buy me one and uh, it should be coming to me shortly, hopefully, if the mail will cooperate. So I can't wait to get the fuzzing mat. So, got my stencil on my bowl. Get me some more ink. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to take that right off. Look at that. Now that one turned out really great because it wasn't on the bend. So I'm going to um, use my heat gun on that to dry it. So I don't smear it. So we have our starfish and we have our seashell. Hi Tracy, how are you? And then we're going to do our bird. So again, you want to fuzz it. And I can't wait to get my fuzzing cloth because the one side you fuzz with and then the other side um, you can dry your stencil with it so you don't have to wait around for it to dry. So I'm going to put this bird up in the air here like it's coming down. Okay, so I have it on there just like that. Lovely, I need a stand for cookies and cupcakes. Well cool, this will work out good. Um, 
I know other people too, instead of using these, which may be a little big when we put it together on um, this right here, but uh, <clears throat> you can use those clear candlesticks that you can get at the Dollar Tree. is that. I'm just going to pull this off. See how sticky that is? Isn't that nice? And I'm going to go ahead and um, dry that too. I just don't want to mess it up. have any tear dishes so I thought this would be a neat little um, craft to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I could put it in the uh, kitchen and put stuff in it. I could um, put it in my bathroom and put stuff on it. Put it on my vanity and put jewelry on it. I'm just not quite sure yet what I want to do with it. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Okay, so we're good with that. Get these backings out of the way. Put this in my water. Okay, so I'm going to be using E6000 and the hot glue to make sure this stays together. Of course, with this being ceramic, it is pretty heavy. So I want to make sure that uh, it's not going to pull apart. So with this right here, I'm not going to do it this way. I don't like that. I'm going to do it this way. So I kind of like that better. And actually, I thought this was really cool. I did not buy these to go together. But look, this is like the lighter part of the blue on here. So I just thought it was, it was meant to be. So I'm going to put the E6000 on first. And I had run out, so I just picked this up at Hobby Lobby and actually it was um, in the checkout line. So I got quite a bit of glue on there. Then I'm gonna put hot glue you know what, that's not going to be in the right place. Anyway, let me put a little hot glue on here. I just did four drops. So I'll probably have to go back and peel that off. I forgot it wasn't going to go straight on it. My bad. But look, see that? It's coming right off. Look, this looks good just like this. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. It's like a goblet. A big one. Put some wine in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, this bottom one here. And I'm going to put this. And that fits right in there. And I tell you, it looks like it was made for this. So I think on the outside edges, I'm going to do the E6000. And then the inside, I'm going to do the hot glue. And this just secures it more. Um, the hot glue is like immediate. And the E6000, you know, has to sit for a while. Okay, so I'm just going to press this a little bit. And then with this one here to this plate, of 
course, all you have to do is put it on here and then set it in the middle. This is a little indentation, so you only need it around the edge. So let me just put part of it hot glue, I mean part of it E6000, and then I'll put hot glue in between. I learned this from other crafters. So it goes right there in the center. And then I'll just um, scrape off the extra glue around there when it dries. So what do you think so far? So you paid a dollar for the um, plate, a dollar for the stand, a dollar for the um, saucer, Oops. A dollar for the bowl and then a dollar for this stand. So five dollars. And then you're stenciling. So this is going to have to um, probably dry overnight before you can actually, you know, pick it up by it. So for this part right here. Of course, we're going to do the whole piece here like we did the other one. So I'm going to put the E6000 on the outside. You can see I'm using quite a bit. I'm going to make sure it sticks. And then I'm going to um, put my hot glue on the inside circle. this straight in the middle there and you see what I'm talking about how this goes in a little bit but um, I think you could still put cupcakes or whatever on there I don't think it would make a difference so there it is that didn't take long at all all we did was three little stencils that came from this home stenciling set that we've already used and I'll use again, it's in the 12 by 18 um, stenciling um, section. And, uh, you know, our plates and stuff from the Dollar Tree. And these right here, I think they're cupcake holders from um, Target. And then our E6000 and our hot glue. And that's it. We had the ink. Which, like I said, I use my ink from a different company because I, I don't have, um, I just have the white and the gold ink. And I wanted to use the brown because of the brown around the edges. So, what do you think? Is this something you might want to do? I'm really liking this, so I just got to figure out what I want to do with it. But like I said, you could uh, you could put jewelry in it. You could set it in your kitchen and just put little, you know, whatever in it. Because my kitchen kind of gets full of just stuff laying around. And um, like I said, too, if you can't find these or you don't want to use these, you can use um, the little clear candle holders from the Dollar Tree. And you could paint them you know, spray paint them whatever color you want. Okay, well that's all I have for today. And if you like this um, project, please feel free to do this. And I would appreciate it so others can see it. And Facebook will keep putting my videos out there. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another craft. I have several crafts lined up and I'm excited to show you guys what we have. And um, one of them is this here. So, I put a um, post out there about these door hangers, asking if you all would like me to do a, a video tutorial on these. So, I put these two out there, and then later I made this one. So, I did get some response, and they said yes. Some of you said yes. So, I will probably do a tutorial uh, next week for uh, on how to make these out of those 
adult grass skirts from the Dollar Tree. I think these turned out cute. You just hang them on your doorknob. And um, these are especially cute for the fall season coming up. But you can put whatever you want on them. You can put seashells, um, buttons, I mean, just, just whatever you want. Okay, so until tomorrow, keep crafting. Bye.